everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm Tammy from Tammy Colors 2. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. Um, I wanted to do the next part of my coloring book collection, which is the fantasy books, mostly dragons and unicorns, a few other things mixed in. So here we go, because I'm trying to keep this one quick. And um, if you need flips of any of the books that you see, I am happy to do so. Most of them have been out for a while, but um, you never know. Uh, and some people can't find them. Sometimes I have so much trouble finding book flips um, when I'm looking to buy books. So, uh, Selena Finish, Fedorables, Minis 1 and 2. These are tiny little books. Um, they're adorable little images. Adorable. I have not colored anything in here, even though, I mean, I don't really color people, but I would love, these are easy, these would be really easy. Those are there, and then two, in this one, she actually tells you what they are, which is nice, so you don't have to guess. love her, her art. Uh, Mini Monsters, which by Zenzu Creative, which I did do a flip of. There's two sets of images in here, and it's just pictures of monsters. Monsters, 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 cute monsters, which I loved, so I had to get it. I still have to color in that one. Let's see. I have... Uh, Unicorns Around the World by Polly Jenkins, which this is an adorable, simple book of unicorns in different countries. <laughs> I did a flip of this one. Um, and then I colored a picture. It's adorable. Uh, Dragon's Kingdom by Juliana Emerson. Beautiful pictures of dragons, and I have not colored anything in it, which I need to get around to. And then monster, monster, I can't talk this morning. Monster in the Mandala, which there's a whole series of these. Um, I did order these from Amazon U.S. because they're Amazon printed, even though they're in French. Um, but it's just a monster and a mandolin, it's so cute. But, uh, I've thought about getting more of these. I just have so many books, as you will see. I need to color in some of them. These are really simple, cute. And oh, there's some of her. She has, um... See animals in the mandala, uh, unicorns, livre de coloriage. Uh, I didn't translate that. Uh, coloring the unicorn. Uh, Lycorn is a unicorn. Um, the life of coloring mandala unicorns, it means, um, I can't remember what order they all go in, um, but anyway, cats in the mandala and fish, fish in the mandala, which I thought about getting, but they're all really cute. Anyway, I digress. Next, we have normal size books, Julianne Amerson and Lovely Unicorns is a gorgeous book. I think I did a flip of this one on my channel. Beautiful, beautiful images of unicorns. Her art is just gorgeous. And I have um, Herb Leonard. I have Fantasy Nouveau and Dragon Nouveau. Which 
Fantasy Nouveau is double-sided and beautiful. I love his dragons. They're just gorgeous. I love pencils, so no biggie. I would color these in pencil anyway. Dragon Nouveau is the newest one I got. It's single-sided. Oh, those are so cute. I'm telling you, I gotta get I gotta get these out and start coloring in them. Um Pastel Goth by Sherman Design House. Cute and creepy kawaii. This may be the only kawaii book I have, I think. Um, it's a bunch of different images from what looks like several different artists. I did a flip of this one on my channel also. Um, I have Nice Little Town 4, which is the only nice little town. Well, I have Christmas. I got one of the Christmas books, but this is the only uh, nice little town that I have. I want Atlantis. I haven't done anything in this book at all. The images are so adorable. Um, I didn't like the first couple, so four was the first one that I really liked. Um, and then I'll have to look at flips of all the other ones and see if I want any more in the series. Um, Jade Summer, Light and Dark Fantasy, Grayscale Coloring Book. So this is where they combined a couple of books. I love their grayscale. I do not love their paper, but I do love their grayscale. I started coloring this. This is the first grayscale picture I ever tried. I got, I was unhappy with it and uh, stopped. So I need to get back to that. Color the Living Island. I think I got this one at Ollie's, but I'm sure it's available on Amazon. And who is it by? Emily Feigenshu and Brenda Lyons. Um, and this one's interesting because I don't, it, it's single-sided. And it's fantasy images with some wallpaper. And then sometimes there's... Um, double page spreads and because it's single sided they fold out which is cool because you know it doesn't limit your medium but it has very interesting creatures beautiful beautiful images I can't decide if I'm going to keep this one or get rid of it because I just have too many to color, but I really, really love some of the images, so we will see. Then I have Flower Pot Hatchlings, Lacey Sunshine by Heather Valentin. I did a flip of this one. Uh, this is an old, I, this book's been out for a while and they, they're just adorable. I love them. All the little hatchlings and flower pots. It was a great idea. So, very cute. Very thin. Some curls. I have Daisy Joy Unicorn Coloring Book, which this is the only Daisy Joy book I have. And it's unicorns. I just got this one, so this will be in this month's haul. Because I really liked it. Um, dragon Life by Deborah Muller. You know, it's a dragon. I had to get it. This one's new, too. I haven't had this one very long. Like this month. I think I got it in August. Oh, like I needed another coloring book. People have to stop coming out with coloring books I want. Gorgeous. 
Um, I have Mermaids, Fairies, and Other Girls of Whimsy by Hannah Lynn, which is beautiful. I've seen people do just the most stunning images. And like I said, I'm not a, pers a pe person who likes to color people, but I love her faces. Um, I have Mermaid Whimsy by Deborah Muller, which I also got this month. have very many Deborah Muller books. I have a couple on uh, PDF. I have Crazy Cat Girls or Crazy Cat Ladies and um, something else that I'm not remembering. Um, Fantasy by Deborah Muller out last year and I haven't colored in it at all. I have The Fantastic World of the Brothers Grimm by Forrest Diver, which is just the cutest book because the images are Shaped. It's about fairy tales. I just love the pictures in here. And at the back, it tells you which picture or what story the pictures are from. Because there's more than one picture from a story. So that's really cool. I like that they did that. Um, I have all of the Dreamlings books. Ugh. Just pull those out. So I have Dreamlings 1, 2, and 3 by Edwina McNamee. McNam I'm not sure how you say her name. So Dreamlings. I just loved her Dreamlings books. And she gives you PDFs of some of them. Some of the books you get PDFs with, or at least you used to. Excuse me. Gorgeous. Dreamings 2. You can tell I haven't colored in any of these. I think the only one I've colored in is the Halloween one. I used to just get so intimidated, like I didn't want to screw them up, but I just decided I had to start doing it. You know, I have to color, otherwise I'll never get better. I have to stop being intimidated or afraid to screw it up, so. These have been, oh goodness, sorry. These have been out for a while. I have Dragonland by Sally Berry. I think this is the only Sally Berry book I have. <clears throat> like I said, if it's a dragon book, that, that means, well, I don't get every dragon book because first of all, I have to like the way you draw your dragons. Some people's dragons I don't like. It's rare, uh, but it happens. I have couple of Blue Wave Press books. I have the Category and Coloring book, which I did a flip of. It's cute, simple pictures that you could do a lot with. And of course, the Narwhal Coloring book, which there is a flip of also, because who doesn't love narwhals? And then, um, 
Unicorns and Dragons by Selena Finish. I kind of wish this one was grayscale, but uh, that's okay. I like that she titles her images. Gorgeous, gorgeous book. It's a big one. It's got all the images in it. Um, 50 Beautiful Mermaids by Camille Angelkova. Which, of course, I have not colored in at all. I was in a mermaid mood and I bought a bunch of mermaid books and then never colored in them. Um, I have 50 Amazing Mythical Creatures by Camelia Angelkova, which I like that she tells about what it is and then on the back side it tells about it, you know, what it is. So it's all kinds of, uh, what does it say, mythical creatures, which there are a lot in this world. Gorgeous book. Oh, do I have any more from her? I don't think so. Oh, yep. Of course. Of course I do. I have 50 graceful unicorns. Which I haven't colored in at all. You're noticing a pattern here. There's so many books I haven't colored in. <sighs> I started leaving them out and coloring at least one page before I put them away. 50 Marvelous Dragons by Camellia Angel Kova. I have all these dragon books and I'm intimidated to color dragons. <laughs> Not terrible, but uh, that's going to end fairly quickly. Um, I have Majestic Dragons and Doodle Coloring Book. This one I'm on the fence about. I can't decide whether I want to keep it or get rid of it because Zen Doodle is not my thing. But um, we'll see. I'll just have to be realistic about what I'm actually going to color in and what I'm not. Illustrated by Antonia Cardella. I have Dragons, Flowers, and Mandalas Oh My by C.L. Aldridge, who's a lovely person. It's her, her coloring books are gorgeous. But she does small ones in the back. That you can craft with, and she does big ones. And there will be a dragon mixed in. <laughs> it's really cool. I like the way she did this one. I guess I have to have my caffeine before I do this. Um, Dragons by Jade Summer, which I haven't done any of the pictures in here either, for the reasons mentioned above. <laughs> Dragons, intimidating, because I love them so much. I want them to be beautiful. But I need to get this one out and color in it. Dragons and Other Mythical Creatures by Chris Tomlin. This one's kind of interesting because it has um, colored pages in it. I think I got it at um, Barnes & Noble on clearance a couple years ago. But 
it's still out there. And it breaks them up like these are other creatures. This is dragons. So, you know, they don't leave you guessing. It's mostly dragons. And then a section of other creatures. <laughs> I have um, Dover's Stained Glass Wizards and Dragons Coloring Book by Eric Gats Eric Gatsman, which this is where the pages are. Um, I have this is the only big one that I have. I have little ones, a bunch of little ones, but this is the only big one. And I've been playing around with the medium, medium, media to try to figure out what I like to use in it. Fantasy World Grayscale. Um, is this Alina Lazareva? Yes. Which mm, I was a little disappointed in. I mean, I love her art. <laughs> There's a lot of people in here. <laughs> Which I knew, to be fair. Um, oh, here we go. There's two sets of images in this book. I'm just not really sure how fantasy most of it is. But uh, I will color it for sure. I have the Halloween... Halloween one and that's the one that I tried to color in and I think it's half done because I screwed it up but you'll see that when I do the Halloween part oh, I love this one getting down there all right so now I have crazy cats sorry about that if you hear them running around um Dragons with pets and um, dragons and beasties. She does models of her, like clay models of her dragons, and you can buy them. Um, she has a site and she does coloring books. This one's Color Dragons and Beasties. Um, I love her art, it's so cute. They're just adorable. Adorable. Becca Gullens. What's her name? Dragons with Pets by Dragons and Beasties. Becca Gullens. Um, they all have little pets and they're so cute. I couldn't figure out this one doesn't have a pet that I can find. Oh no he does right there. I was having so much trouble seeing that one. Oh it's an elephant. <laughs> Sometimes they're hard to see. But they're just squirrels. Oh, they're just adorable. I love this book. These I've got to get out and colored in soon. Uh, let's see. And then, of course, uh, Tanya Brigima Stalova has a couple of dragons books. Nice little dragons, of course. In the style of her nice little town art. I had to get them. And there's double images. There's like two images of each one in here. Nice little dragons too. Let's see if we can get past the...
cute, 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 cute. I just love some of these pictures. She has an interesting take on dragons. <clears throat> then I have um, kaleidoscope coloring, unicorns, and more, which is just unicorns and flowers. I don't think there's anything but unicorns and flowers in here. Maybe a hummingbird or something. I was working on this one. I need to finish it. The paper is kind of like copy paper, but it was fun to play with. Tiny Kingdom by Lila Alexander. It tells about her in the back. Cats are just off the wall today. Aren't they always, though? Um, so I thought this was very fun. I saw this on someone's channel. That's how I discovered it. And I just thought it was so cute. Oh, Journey to the Mysterious Island. I can't remember if it gives a... Who did this one? I don't think there's an artist. But this one is cool because it's all single-sided images. The paper is really thin. <laughs> I'm not going to lie about that. Um, but it's just gorgeous. They've got like several in the set. This is the only one I have. There's the, the animal library and the little garden. But they're all single-sided, even the double page spreads. I was playing with um, different media to see what I wanted to use. Pencils really worked well. I don't remember what I was. See, now I gotta go back and figure out. This is watercolor. Sorry, watercolor marker, marker with pencil on top. You know, marker. I mean, they come out looking gorgeous, but the paper is just. There's a lot of fun pictures in here. This one, that's a double page spread. Some of them are black. I know there's clips of this on, I've seen a few colors of Mysterious Island. I know Jamie's Coloring Love did one. Flamingos are the other thing that I love. I love flamingos. Finding flamingo coloring books is hard. But, um, this is just an amazing, amazing book. And then finally, the bottom of the pile, Mythical Creatures Coloring Book by, I don't know who, I can't remember. I have to look at, because they don't put it in the book, but it's a gorgeous bunch of mythical creatures. Just really cool. I did a flip of this one also. If you want to see it, it's on my channel. And that, my friends, is the fantasy portion. So, um, I will do the next one soon. We'll get there. There's going to be quite a few more parts. <laughs> I hope you have a great day, whatever you're doing, and um, come back and visit soon. I will hopefully have more content. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.